hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to learn about the user interface of adobe after effects so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe After Effects. So whenever we are going to open this software, we will get these two options over here. First is new composition and second is new composition from footage. Now we will focus on this new composition and we will check it out this option at the end of this video. So I'll click on this new composition first. So it will create this composition settings. Now first thing we have is composition name. As always, you can name whatever you want this composition. I'll call it as main animation like my all tutorials like that now if you see here we are getting this three settings so over here one is basic advanced and 3d renderer we don't need to focus on this things now we will focus on this basics already now whenever you are going to use any video editing software they will always give you some presets like in Premiere Pro we also have this option now if I click in on this custom options as you can see we are getting this inbuilt presets over here according to your needs or client requirement you are free to choose anything of them but right now I will suggest you not choose anything out of them now we will customize our height width of this software let's say width is 1920 and height is 180 just like that and we have one option called lock expert ratio which it's just like a link of this like suppose i this thing is now in 1920 by 180 now i want this thing to 720 pixels so what i'll do i'll select this height and i'll simply type 720 but because this option is checked it will also change the value of this fit just like that now if i change it again let's call it as 1920 it will automatically change the height also just like that now over here we have this option called frame rate now frame rate is frame per second only it means whatever you are going to put this value it will run in one second now i'll by default choose this 30 seconds just like that now resolution is as name itself it's a resolution you can choose it as a half third and quarter but it's just for free preview in this software it has nothing to do about the final output now over here we have this duration option now in duration we need to understand that the last digits are not second but they are milliseconds then this is our seconds this thing is our minute and this thing is our hour so over here we have 20 minutes and 30 seconds but i don't want that much timeline for our animation so i'll choose 30 seconds only so we need to understand this concept over here now background color is as always is our background color you are free to choose anything you want right now i'll choose black and i'll hit ok just like that now if i hit ok on it as you can see our composition has been created now as always in any software scroll down scroll up is for zoom in zoom out and if you hit space bar you can move this canvas from here to here wherever you want now suppose i have scrolled down a little bit and i have zoomed out a little bit and my composition is lost somewhere else now i want this thing to be in fit so as you can see we have one option over here called magnification ratio pop-up so i'll click on it and if i choose fit it will fit just like that so that's the purpose of this option now after that we have one option like choose grid and guide option so if I click on it, I have these two options over here. One is title safe action. So it will create an automatic, what we can say a grid or ratio. It's almost like a camera. And after that, you will get another option called proportional grid. So it will create a grid like that. But instead of that, I'll prefer to use this option, which is called title safe action. Now, what is this option to curl mask and shape we will see in my further videos we don't need to focus on that much now because we haven't created anything so to understand that we must create something over here so what i'm trying to say is this is our main canvas if you see downwards over here in this panel 
this is our composition name and this whole thing is what we call timeline now this timeline is divided into two parts one which is actual timeline and over here we are going to get these names now we don't have anything over here so that's why we cannot see anything so let's create something over here for example if i hit ctrl y or instead of that what we will do in this blank space i'll click right click i'll go to the new and you can choose anything you want like you can create text solid light etc but we will see these all these things in my further videos right now we will only create one solid solid is basically what we can say a layer and height width you can adjust like that according to your needs right now i'll choose as my composition which is 1920 by 180 and unit is as you know it's in pixels and if i choose white color and hit ok as you can see it will create a white board and we have this white solid over here which is the name of this layer and we have this proper timeline over here so basically this portion of this is all about the names and the properties and this is the actual timeline where we need to adjust the keyframes of our animation we will see after a minute now as you can see whenever we are going to create anything over here it will appear over here so this is what we call a project window so what is the use of project window whenever you are going to use any video editing software or any other software like premiere pro filmora you will always get one option called project window so use of project window is it will collect all the data you are going to use in this animation or etc for example if i double click on this portion it will allow me to import anything file from my pc like i'll choose this comp1 and if i hit import as you can see it will automatically drag this over here if i again double click over here i can choose any other form file and simply import in my project window and from project window i can drag and drop this file on my composition like that so as you can see we have the name over here and we have the time long of, timeline of that video over here so you can play this video alone now this blue thing is current time indicator with the help of that you can go and anywhere you want and if you want to play this video simply hit spacebar so it will play our video like that so this is our project window and after that you will find one option which is called effect and controls so what is this let's see in after a minute now before we will discuss about this effect control we need to focus on this panel over here which is effect and presets now this is the most important part of the after effect so right now in the search bar i will type one normal effect called let's say tint for example and if you want to apply any effect all you need to do select any layer you want like now i'll choose this video file which is a comp1.mp4 and i'll simply select this tint effect and there are two ways to apply it first you need to select this layer and simply double click so it will automatically apply and hit ctrl z and the second thing is simply drag and drop on this video just like that so whenever we are going to apply any effect on it we will get the properties of effect in our effect controls panel over here you can swap this colors so this is basically the property of this tint right now i am not gonna explain any specialities of this effect so it's just for showing you that what is the use of this effect and control panel so i'll delete this effect over here now after that as always we are going to get this famous options like file edit composition layers effect animation etc and after that we will get this toolbars over here just like that now if you see properly uh, these options are almost familiar to photoshop if i open photoshop over here as you can see we have main canvas over here and in after effect also we have this canvas we have these tools over here which are almost similar to photoshop and adobe illustrator and in photoshop they are also providing this timeline and this layer panel etc so basically the concept of this software is that it also provides options like graphic designing but because this is the video editing software it provides us 
something which are important to create animations and video edits just like that but the viewport and idea is almost like a graphic designing software so after that effect and presets panel you will get another options like alignment and character which is obviously for text animations and etc and then paragraph options tracking etc etc we will cover this portion in my next videos now after that if you see over here we are getting something like default learn standard so these are basically inbuilt viewport type as you can see whenever i am gonna click on anyone it will automatically change the viewport of or what we can see user inter interface of my software just like that now so basically this is the user interface of this software now we will focus on how can we adjust it accordingly now as you can see if i suppose i want this space to be minimized so what we can do i'll go over here and i can minimize this thing also i can maximize thing now this thing is applicable for all the things just like that so with the help of that you can adjust these things now suppose this is my timeline and by mistake i have deleted this like that so now i want that timeline back so what i can do there are two options i'll go to the windows and over here i'll find the timeline main animation if i click over there we will get this timeline again even if i deleted this project window like right click below panel and i want that project window back then again i'll go to the windows and i'll find here it is project and shortcut key is control zero so i can find this project window over here and if we go to the windows and we go to the workspace we have this much workspace if i go to the all panels as you can see it will provide me all the existing panels in after effects like that and there is another thing you can do if i suppose by by mistakenly i deleted these things and suppose i've deleted these things also so what you can do go to the windows go to the workspace and here you have one option reset all panels to save layer if i click on it we will get these options again so this is the user interface of Adobe after effects and with the help of this tool what you can do suppose we have the shape layer over here if i click on it you will get this option like fill and stroke and you can create any shape you want and whenever you are going to create anything in this canvas it will automatically create one layer in our main animation and also it will create this thing in our project window like if i go to the solids over here as we can see initially we have created this solid so it will create this thing over here also just like that so this is the basic viewport of adobe after effects as i told you at the start we will learn about this thing in the last section of this video now as we can see with the help of new composition we can create customized composition now if i click on this new composition from footage it will allow me to choose any video from my pc so if i create selected any video and i'll hit import now as you can see it will automatically create a composition with the help of this video now what will happen now it will create a composition with the accurate time of this video like suppose this video has a timeline up to two seconds so our composition timeline is also two seconds and name of the composition is also like our video which we have imported so this is the use of this feature now after that if you want to create a new file or you can go to the file new and you can create new project the shortcut key is Control alt n and i am not gonna save this file so we will get back to this viewport so as you guys know it's just the start of the series and today's video was very basic but in my next video we will learn about something called keyframes we will also learn how to adjust our timeline and composition and we will also create some simple animations so if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates until then stay tuned